What's up everyone? Welcome to a bit of a different Minecraft video today. We're going to be looking at thumbnails and how to make a good thumbnail for a Minecraft video. Now, in front of me, you'll see I've got a thumbnail for one of my older videos, which I've recently changed to this name because as you know, the Caves and Cliffs update has now been split into two halves. Now this video got a bit over a thousand views and it gets maybe a few views a day. It's not going particularly quickly. So in this video, we're going to look at what is good about this thumbnail, what's not so good, and we're going to make a new one to hopefully improve the views. Now, first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to go to a website called Canva and I'm going to log in and we're going to go to designs. I'm going to find that one. Right. So this is the design we've currently got. Now, there's nothing wrong with it, really. There's a dark background, bright text, catches your eye, lots of diamonds, which sort of says what the video is about. The problem with it is there's no action. It doesn't really say a lot about the video other than it's about diamonds. So what we're going to do is we're going to change it for a bit more of an in-game scene and see if that improves things. If there's one thing I've learned since I started doing this, it's that a high quality thumbnail doesn't necessarily just mean that it's it, it's nicely set out. It has to actually tell the viewer something about the video, whereas this does very little to do that really. I've got older videos where the thumbnail's worse in quality if you're looking at the quality of the images, but it, it was more relevant to the video and so people clicked the video and it got more views. So the idea is that we make this more relevant to the video and therefore it will get more clicks, maybe. First thing we need to do is load up basically the version of the game that is gonna fit best. And for this, it was this snapshot before they split the update. So we're gonna load that up now and then we're gonna take some screenshots in the game to create a good background. Okay, here we go. Let's make a new single player world. Right, now the first thing I need to do is make this open to land so that I can actually change to creative mode because I, I need the power to basically do whatever I want. Now the next thing I wanna do, what Y level am I at? minus 53 so I, I want to find like a, a decent cave so we've found a massive big lava aquifer cave which is going to be really cool for the setup and we're just we're just gonna spam diamond ore all over the place now the next thing that is a really really important tactic to use and this is very specific to minecraft but honestly you want your field of view like super low for a thumbnail like it looks so much more cinematic. All right, now in my mind, this looks perfect. So we're just gonna screenshot that. The next step is we want my avatar with a pickaxe. Now for this, we don't wanna just do an, F, an F5 shot. Like everyone does that. Like it's, it's obvious that you haven't put much effort in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the replay mod. At this point, it doesn't really matter too much what version of Minecraft you're using. I'm just gonna be using 1.16.4 because that's the replay mod I have downloaded. Next thing we do is we fly up to the point that we can't see anything. And now all I've got to do is basically start the recording. I'm going to move forward a bit. I'm going to swing the pickaxe a few times and that'll do. Stop recording. And basically now I've just got to fly up to where I was and just, just pause it on a point where I'm, I'm happy basically. And it looks like it could possibly be a good point already. Oh, I like this. This is like the action pose. Great, so same principle guys. We're gonna get the field of view right. First of all, we're gonna make sure we've got the right angle. It's like he's looking up into the distance, epic pose. And we're once again gonna F to it. Take the screenshot. And that's us done with that. We want to make sure as well that we're getting all the images that we're gonna be using in the same place just to make life easy. So we're gonna move them all to the Earth to Tom folder. And now we're gonna delete all of this. It's all gonna go. So the first thing we're doing is we're gonna chuck in the background and now we basically brighten it up, contrast it, make everything stand out nice and bright. This is a thumbnail after all. That looks good to me. I think we'll also just whack a bit of the vignette on it as well just to darken off the corners just slightly. Now I can't just drag and drop that image on it because if we go to the image, you'll see there's obviously a massive big blue background. We're gonna to go to this, this thing here, remove background. It's free, you don't get a high quality image if you use the free version, but to be honest, for something like this, it really doesn't matter too much. And there we go, download. Now, if I go to my downloads folder, I'm just gonna copy that on there, and there we go. Now, I kind of want him over this side, so we're gonna flip that as well, that's better. Another thing that people tend to do with Minecraft icons like this is when they've got an avatar, they put a little 
a little frame around him so we're going to do that right now that's sorted the next thing is the text now it's important always use the same font that your audience are used to seeing say if your video comes up in suggested at the side of a, another video that someone's currently watching and they've seen your videos before they're a lot more likely to click it if they've seen your content in the past and enjoyed it because they'll recognize that that is another video from you so try not to mix your fonts up too much because it, it does help to have a little bit of continuity now the video i did i called it how to find diamonds in 1.18 in all honesty the video was more a look at how diamonds spawn in that snapshot obviously at this point i don't know if it's going to be the same when 1.18 does come out but i think a more appropriate title for the video would be how do diamonds spawn in 1.18 okay i'm quite enjoying this i'm thinking that that's looking pretty good only problem is the question marks missing that's not the end of the world but i'm thinking for this video it's probably going to be more beneficial that this layer is brought forward in front of the guy so we can use that tool that brings it forward only problem we've got now is it's getting a little bit lost there so we go to effects and we're going to do a lift and we're going to whack that all the way up now at this point it can be tempting to just think great i've nailed it i'm all done but I would say that there's still probably something better we can do with this. At the minute, the, I feel like the colors clash slightly. We need a bit of a theme going on. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna adjust this again. And I'm gonna adjust the saturation so that those blues and the orange of the lava really, really stands out quite dramatically. And then I'm gonna go to the text and I'm gonna try and make that the same sort of hue. Nice, bright, light blue. Let's just get a closer look at that for the final product. I'm quite, I'm quite happy with that to be honest with you. I think that looks pretty good. And so the final step is downloading and then re-uploading this to the video. So we're gonna go to the YouTube studio. We're gonna go down to content and we're gonna find that video, which is here. Edit, change the thumbnail. And that is in my downloads folder currently. So we're gonna now upload that, save. And now when I reload this page and go down, I should see, yep, yeah, the new thumbnail is up. And we'll just get a look at an enlarged version of the thumbnail. I think if we compare that to the old thumbnail, I think we can all agree that even though this wasn't terrible, this is so much better. When you look at this, you, you just see, yes, diamonds, text on the background. There's not really a lot going on. In this, you see a guy down in a cave, there's diamonds spawned in, it's with the new textures. This looks a lot more interesting. It's clearly from a 1.18 style world, so people are going to be a lot more likely to click on this than they would that old thumbnail. So hopefully this has given you a good idea of, of how you can improve your thumbnails. Obviously, I'm still learning myself, but... The more you do this sort of thing, the better you're going to get at it. If you came here because you're looking to improve your thumbnails, then I hope this helped a little bit. I know that this is largely Minecraft related, but I'm hoping that you can see the principles are pretty much the same, whatever you're going to do. Make it relevant, make it eye-catching. Try and tell a little bit of a story about what's in the video from the thumbnail alone, and you should be fine. Anyway, that's all from me. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, as always, leave a like and subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in the next video. If you want to see more videos that are more of a behind the scenes, me talking to the camera or me doing other things aside from gaming, then follow my second channel. It's just Earth2Tom, the number two rather than T-O. So pretty easy to remember really. Go give it a follow if you want to see more of this sort of stuff and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. <laughs>